What's up guys, Sam here and today I want to talk to you guys about the new Tilta Nucleus Nano 2 wireless lens control system. The one I have right here is their combo kit which comes with the two motors, the wheel dial, the joystick and much more accessories. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Nucleus Nano 2 with all their other Tilta ecosystem products and also use it with the DJI RS3 and much more. We're going to dive right into it but first let's do the unboxing. When you first open the case, you see two focus ring support, you see few USB-Cs, and the one is a USB-C to a D-tab that you can use with the V-mounts. You have two 15 millimeter rods, few Allen keys, and then one 15 millimeter rod holder support. Inside, you see the focus ring, monitor mount, the controller unit that comes with it. You get this battery support that you can use to power using an MPF, Sony MPF batteries. And lastly, you see two focus motors. Today, I'm gonna use my Sony A7S III with a Samyang 35 millimeter Cine lens. And I'm going to use their Tilta Mirage map box for this whole setup. And so the first thing that I want to do is, of course, make sure I have room. I need to use the 15 millimeter rod that comes with it. The way I have it right here is I attach the support right here on the side. You can mount it anywhere, it depends on the cage that you're using. I'm currently using a smaller cage, but you, it works with the tilt cage and other stuff also. Then what I need to do is I need to put the 15 millimeter right on the side. You can hand tighten it. Just so you guys know, this setup basically can work with any lens. The one that I have is a prime lens, so it doesn't necessarily have a zoom control. But if you have like a Cine zoom lens and you need three motors, this will definitely work with the DJI focus motor as well. This package comes with two motors, but you know, if you have three motors, you can easily make it work. So what I'm gonna do today is I want to be able to control the iris, the focus, I want to control the tilt and map box. And later on, I'm gonna put this on the DJI RS3 and I wanna be able to control the gimbal, the camera, basically everything that this offers. So what I want to do first is put the focus motors in and tighten them. First one went on the iris and then the second one goes on the focus motor like this. You lock it in. Um, because this lens is very short, I have to mount the map box vertically. Um, but you know, you can I'm sure once you have a longer lens, it will, it will work just fine. But for this test unit, we're gonna be using, the, using it vertically. Next, what you want to do is you want to use some sort of a V-mount. You can use the plate that comes with it to power it through an MPF battery, but in this case, I'm gonna use a V-mount. If you have it built up with the full cage, with the, you know, everything, I'm sure you're probably gonna have a V-mount somewhere over here. So first, we're gonna take the cable that has a D-tab. We're gonna plug it to the battery and then we're gonna be using the port number two to power it on. The way this whole setup works is that you don't have to power from the V-mount every single thing. You can actually daisy chain it. And so I'm gonna use the USB-C to USB-C, plug it to the port one, and then plug it to the second motors unit right here. And lastly, as you guys know, the Tilta Mirage map box comes with its own battery, but if you don't have the battery charged up or you know, you want to be able to just have power without relying on a battery, then you can also daisy chain from here all the way down to the map box. So now that we have everything connected, you grab your nucleus wheel dial and then you can attach it to the, to the side handle right here. You wanna make sure that the connectors match them together and then you put them in right here. You hear a nice click and you just lock it in like this. To power it on, you press the record button and it will power it on. And then you also wanna power it on the controller. In order to power the controller, you actually have to use a small MPF batteries. Uh, these are you know, pretty cheap, so you can get them and they last for a long time. Plug it in and then you press and hold the button and it will turn on. So now as you guys can see, everything is connected and what we need to do is wanna make sure that all the motors are assigned to their proper features. So we have purple for the focus motor. We have blue for iris, which is the motor three. This is motor one. So we assign the motor number two to be assigned for the VND map box. 
So now that everything is set up, what we need to do is everything is connected. And as you guys can see right here, if I'm using the dial, the focus motor is working. If I do put, if I use the side dial right here, it will change the map box. It's rotating it. And then lastly, if I use the rear dial right here, it will change my iris. So everything is connected, everything is working fine. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this on a gimbal and we're gonna show you guys how to control the whole gimbal using the same exact setup. Now that we have everything connected and the camera is now on the gimbal, what we're going to do is we're going to make a few adjustments. So first of all, so now the map box is powered using the USB-C port on the side of the gimbal. And I made a few adjustments on the cables right here, as you guys can see. Uh, like I said earlier, you power from the two and then you use the one to daisy chain to the second motor. But in this case, I'm using from the first to the first and I'm using the second port to connect it straight to the camera. And the whole reason for that is to get camera control. One few things that you wanna make sure it's on is you want to go to your settings, network, then transfer remote. Then you wanna make sure your PC remote function is on and it's USB. Then lastly, you go to your setup, go to USB and you wanna make sure that your USB power supply setting is on. So now on the screen dial right here, you change two screens right to the right and then you have your camera control menu. From here, you can change your shutter speed. So you can put it to whatever you like. You can change your ISO, you can change your white balance, your camera settings and etc. And you can also press record and it will start recording the on the camera right away. And then lastly, for the controller, you wanna make sure that you have the wireless adapter for the RS3 that connects to the controllers. In my case, I had it from a previous setup and the setup is the same way as double pressing and it will connect to the controller. And now I have full camera control. I have record, I have, and then I, one thing to know is you can't work, use the motors if you're on the camera control screen. So you have to switch back to the original screen. And now I have focus control. I have my VND control. And lastly, I have my aperture control right here. And so now everything is powered all using this controller unit and all the motors together. If your setup already has a V-mount, then you can use the V-mount. But if it doesn't, then what I recommend is using their battery plate to mount it on the camera. It has quarter 20 and some pins that you can power it, power this whole setup just using this. So again, you have full camera control, you have iris control, you have VND control, all using the same dial and also full camera settings using the handle. One last thing to know is that if you are using the DJI's own focus motor for this whole setup, once your controller is connected to the gimbal, then what you have to do, you have to use a switch in the back that shows TF and DF. You put it on DF and you, it will right away work with the DJI's focus motor system. And so you can have up to three, four, even five motors controls just from this whole setup. If you find this video helpful, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more tutorial and behind the scene videos coming soon. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.